India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi will tomorrow open a Hindu temple in the northern city of Ayodhya, an event that's being seen as the start of his election campaign. Millions of Hindus are celebrating, but for Muslims it evokes painful memories. A mosque which stood on the site was illegally torn down 30 years ago, triggering violence across the country. From Ayodhya, here's the BBC's South Asia correspondent, Yogita Lamai. A display of Hindu faith in a manner that's perhaps never been seen before in modern India. Hail Lord Ram, they shout, in praise of one of their most revered deities. Ayodhya is described as his birthplace in Hindu epics. And at the spot that millions believe he was born, a grand temple will now be opened by the Prime Minister. <laughs> Our dream has finally become a reality. It's like God himself has appeared before us. This city has shaped India. It sits on one of the country's biggest Hindu-Muslim fault lines. The temple built at a spot where a mosque once stood. Many see it as a declaration of Hindu dominance. We don't want to destroy anyone's mosque, but what has been built on the birthplace of our gods, we will not tolerate that from now on. The site was given to Hindus by a Supreme Court order. Hundreds of millions of dollars are being spent on the temple, funded from private donations. But the Prime Minister's presence would turn a religious ceremony into a state event, many say. Especially controversial because of the history of the site. Until 1992, a 16th century mosque stood there. They raised the saffron flag. Illegally destroyed after a mass campaign by Hindu moms. Religious violence broke out across India. Thousands were killed. A campaign which has now led to hundreds of deaths. For Ayodhya's Muslims, it was a painful time. Anwari Begum's husband, Muhammad Amin, was among 17 killed in Ayodhya. They cut his arms and legs off and stuffed his body in a sack, she tells us. On that day, I lost my biggest support, the person I shared my life with. Her son, Sohrab, had hoped the country's leaders would reach out to them. They should have come to us and said what happened was wrong. They should have showed compassion, but they haven't. Many in the community told us they're worried there might be trouble again after the inauguration. And so they were leaving the city for a few weeks. All major political parties have sought to appease voters through this politics of religion. But for Prime Minister Narendra Modi's BJP, its support of the temple as part of its aggressive assertion of Hinduism is the reason why it's transformed from being a small party just a few decades ago to being seen as one that is virtually undefeatable now. At a local BJP office, preparations are on for the inauguration. I met a member of parliament from the party, Lallu Singh. Do you think it's appropriate for the prime minister of a secular country to be the main figure at a major Hindu religious event? It's a hundred percent right. The culture of the majority community in a country dominates the nation. This does not mean we do not respect minorities. The opening of the temple is being seen as the start of Prime Minister Modi's re-election bid and it's expected to give him another resounding victory. One that could further polarise the nation. Yogita Lamai, BBC News, Ayodhya.